Hello! We are live. And here we go. So today I'm just going to be working on a piece of art that I have been working on in a previous stream. Um, it's quite late where I am in the UK, so it's 11pm at the moment. So I'm going to try and finish this up tonight uh, for this stream. Probably going to be about an hour, hour and a half, hopefully. Hello, how you doing, man? You alright? Yo, Bonson, how you doing, man? How we all doing this evening? All good? <sighs> Alright, well, like I was just saying, it's quite late here in the UK, so... It's going to be quite a chill stream. Just going to do. Um, just going to finish up this drawing. It's too late for programming. I've been. Uh, I did a, a big geo update today. Um, that took it out of me a bit. So we're just going to try and rattle through this drawing, get it done. Um, yeah, so that'll be cool if I can get that done tonight. Cheers for tuning in. <laughs> Good to hear, Bonson. Good to hear, man. Darker than that, so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Cool, Coolio. So, how's everyone's Saturday been? Glorious, I hope. How you doing, man? You alright? Cheers for coming by, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, 2302. It's getting late. Good, good to hear, man. I've had a I've had a chaotic one really today. And I am uh, very tired. But it is Saturday night. I thought I'd get on here, get another drawing finished off, and say hello to you, glorious people. Spread some Saturday love. Did any of you guys pick up the news about uh, Steam getting rid of green light uh, this spring? What do you guys think of that? The uh, debate has been raging all day on pretty much every social media platform known to man but it's been interesting that's for sure Is interesting man my personal um, stance on it is if if they do it right it could be awesome um, I've been through green light twice uh, the first time was back when it was <coughs> fairly new and you had to get 10,000 and above votes to get your game on which I managed to do with my first game Sweezy Gunner uh, and I never want to go through that again uh, and I was bricking it for Geo which is my second game, um, but by that time you only had to get what was it, 300, 500 um, votes to get through. 
so I managed that. But um, in honesty, I'd never want to do it again. I, I, the it's a good system for getting games on, you know, and it's but what it descended into was never never good. Um, and it was it was a horrible popularity contest or you know meme culture driven. Yeah, they are, but don't panic. Don't panic. If you haven't heard the news, I will provide. So what they're saying is they're changing it. Uh, they're getting rid of green light, and they're going to have a direct entry scheme. So you do not need to be voted in. You can just put your game on Steam. However, and here's the rub, is there is an entry fee per title. Um, and at the moment, the news is it's anywhere between $200 and $5,000 to release your game on Steam. Now, I for one don't believe it's going to be $5,000 because that's going to destroy their indie market and they make a shit ton of cash off of indies. Um, I don't think it'll be 200 because I think that's too low. Uh, I'm hazarding a guess it's going to be around $1,000. That, that's where I'm staking my bet. Anything around 1000 or below, I, I think will be awesome. Um, if it starts creeping above 2000 it's going to start doing damage to you know, small, really small indies. Um, but if it was anywhere near the 5,000, that's been, you know, that that would that would terrify me. Um, but I think you know, if you're a serious indie and the fee was say 1,500, 1,500 dollars to get your game on Steam, I'd I'd still do it and I'd be happy to do it. Um, but anything above that, you know, I think the thousands the sweet spot. You know, between 500 and 1,000 dollars would be the sweet spot, and I'm guessing that they'll go the same way as well. So don't panic, man. It's a good thing. Alright, computer's pinging at me, bear with me, I don't know why. Yeah, it's all gone a bit mental for me today because I updated Geo. Um, so my interwebs are going crazy. In a good way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the problem is, is Steam's reach is just too powerful. You got a question? Is it worth a thousand dollars? I would hazard a guess and say yes, it is. Gog's good. Well, I like Gog, but they turn me down. Um, and Geo is not a shit game by any stretch. So I won't place too much, um, too many of my chickens in their uh, basket. Personally, but there is a petition ongoing. I say a petition, a wish list that someone started for Geo. I think it's up to about 60, 60 votes now for it to be released on GOG. Don't know if that's good or not. And I don't know what the cutoff is either. I don't know when it gets considered, but who knows? You might be seeing Geo on GOG sometime soon. Who knows? Roll with the punches. Roll with the punches. I had an email from another shop today, actually, while you guys are on here. Fellow developers, this would be good for you, actually. You might be able to help me out. Um, let me just check my emails. I got an email from a shop asking me to uh, if I'd be interested in going on their storefront. It's called Win Game Store. Never heard of it. Um, anyone heard of this? Let me see if I can um, get the link and I'll slap it up. I never heard of it until um, until he emailed me. <laughs> yeah, a thousand dollars. I I can't see it being much higher than that, man. I really can't, because 
that's a, that's that's still a lot of money, and it's going to separate serious developers from the hobbyists who have been releasing, you know, have been flooding it with lesser titles, shall we say, that don't work. Um, and a thousand dollars of all will make you make people sit there and think, actually, do I want to chuck up my, you know, Donald Trump meme-ridden two-minute clicker game for a thousand dollars, you know? Uh, and that's that's the good thing about it. So it will increase visibility for the developers who are serious about it as a business. Yeah, so it should clear up the storefront a little bit, but it also gives people the opportunity to decide themselves if they think their title is good enough for it. Yeah, so I just added that link. So they, they've asked me if I'm interested. Anyone heard of him? Oh, I've never heard of him. But I've, I've laid on him a series of uh, penetrating questions. They seem to have some good titles on there, but I don't particularly want to... You reckon? Yeah. I'm always worried, cautious about giving keys to anyone nowadays. Do you know what I mean? I only go with places I know, so... But if someone turned around to me and said, yeah, hell yeah, go there, they're good, then I'd consider it, but I'd never heard of them, so... I fear change. I fear change. We're going to do some colour now, Bonson. Stay calm. Stay calm. Yeah, I'll probably give it a miss. To be honest. Um, who knows? Let's see what he comes back to me with. Because they sent me their sort of business details, which I shan't discuss online, but I... Uh, Negotiated quite heavily, so let's see how good they are. It's never too late for Colour Bonson. Let it in. Let it in. Open your heart and your eyes. Nice one, man. I'll keep away. I'll keep away. To be honest, I'll be amazed if they email me back, considering some of the things I asked them. Yeah, I asked them for their store traffic details and sales figures and stuff from their store, so I'm assuming they wouldn't give it to me anyway. Because I got uh, I put Geo up on uh, Indie Game Stand as well. Which is a sort of it's a very quiet store, but I went with them with Sweezy Gunner and sort of out of loyalty I put Geo on there, but not had a single bite on it. So I'm sort of just thinking about cashing in and leaving there because it just seems dead. It's really sad actually, it's a nice little site. But yeah, it's a shame. I think my game's a bit too expensive for that storefront though, to be perfectly honest. They seem to be um two ninety nine and below sort of thing. doing? What am I doing? Alright, colour. Oh, I'm a bit messy tonight. Let's, let's not do it that way, that's stupid. Hmm, we reckon it's some sort of front. They're going to nab me keys and do one. Yeah, I'll, have, I'll send it over, look. Um, let's have a look. Indie Game Stands. Yeah, it's a nice little site. They do a really good daily deal that used to get a ton of interest, but I, d I don't think it does anymore. Um, yeah, have a look at this. Where are you? There's Indie Game Stand. Yeah, it used to be a, a nice little site. Um, and if you could get on their daily deal, 
you'd sell thousands of copies, granted at a pay what you want, but it would usually be at least a dollar. Um, so you'd be looking at a good couple of thousand dollars in, in a space of a couple of days, which is always a nice little bonus, but it seems to be um, seems to be on its last legs. I, or it's just that my game's a bit bit highly priced for um, a bit highly priced for the store. But it's cool, cool place. If anyone's uh, what, anyone's interested, the music that I'm playing tonight is um, some more of uh, injected tracks. Uh, they're not geo related. They're just some tracks that he's worked on in the past um, that he's given me to stream with. So check out his work. He's uh, extremely talented. Head over to his band camp. He's got some stuff on sale there. Digihorn? I don't know what that is. What's Digihorn? But yeah, it was a cool site back in the day. Five years ago, it used to be really busy. Yeah. I think my, my game's um, $10.99, so it's sort of... I don't think people got... I think the people who do float through there are after deals or sales, you know, and that's it. I don't think they're um, contending up on the uh, new releases and stuff front. I don't think they get much interest, I imagine. I could be wrong, but it might just be my game doesn't fit in there. But Sweezy did all right many years ago when I put it up. But the geezer used to, the contact I had there was a nice bloke. Went by the name of Gnome Slice. I still see him about online. With Bonson, you check out the new Geo controls. I put in um, click and drag to move rather than constant clicking. And people complaining they were getting Geo finger, so I thought I'd uh, offer them some respite. Ah, right. Yeah, I know all about that, man. I know all about that. Yeah, that's the issue, isn't it? Especially most of the indie is starting to get a bad, bad name for itself. But that's that's because people sort of figured out ways of making a quick buck. Hence, why I'm quite excited about the um, the the move Steam are doing because even Digital Homicide, you know, he was banging out ten games a year, probably because he made about a grand on each one or two grand. So he'd consider, oh, is it worth it? You know. But it'd also be interesting to see how they deal with their revenue split because to charge to put on and then a revenue split, you know, I've, I've, it'd be cool if they did something like, you know, it's a thousand dollars to get in to put your game up, uh, and until you recoup the thousand dollars, it's a ninety ten percent split until you, you know, and then once you've recouped, the, the split goes up. But that'd be cool. But who knows? The thing is, I think it's easy to to complain, but at the end of the day. Steam are offering indie developers an opportunity that no one else really is in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm the, I'm the same really. Work to do, innit? Work to do. No, maybe you didn't, Bonson, but I, I, I was amazed actually at the amount of people who did. Oh, cheers, man. Thank you very much. No. Yeah, I, was, I, I had quite a few people message me asking if they could do that because uh, of that. Constant clicking was causing them pain. And plus, I also felt really bad because I got, I got a message from someone who must have been, you know, they must be less abled, shall we say, um, saying that they couldn't play the game because of they can't click a lot, you know, because of some 
problem they have. I, di I didn't go any further. It's not my business, but I felt, you know, I sort of felt bad and never considered it. So I thought I'd better um, stick something in there to try and help people out a bit if they're struggling. It's easy to forget, isn't it? You think, ah, oh, you don't realise that some people can't actually click a lot, you know? What was injected giving me here? This is dark, isn't it? Oh, he's weird sometimes, isn't he? Injected with this stuff, it's awesome. Don't matter, mate. I still appreciate it. It's still awesome of you. Sorry for the pings and stuff. My my computer's going metal. There we go. My internet's just going mad. Right, but we're back in the game. We're back. We're back. Mate, doesn't matter. I appreciate the gesture. Whatever, it's awesome. I'll do the same for you soon. I've got to figure out how you do it. I don't know how you do it. Problem is with auto mine is the game's um, it's not going to do anyone any favours auto mining because the auto mine would just be down, wouldn't it? Um, that would be the only thing that would make sense. Which would cause problems, really, wouldn't it? Because you'd just end up drilling into something you shouldn't be drilling, die, and then... Or you drill straight into an enemy or something like that. This song's hilarious. It's awesome. Um, what am I doing? You ever heard this one before, Bonson? Yeah, I get what you mean. Well, could do, but <coughs> it's um, it's a lot of work in it for um, something that I don't think it needs really. I can understand it though. Yeah, it's, it does have the uh, the flavour of a clicker game to some extent. Um, there is idle cash in it, but it stops once you go idle for too long. I caught people out there. cool song actually I like that that was awesome I didn't draw any little wassets on the water did I let's add those now I like a lily pad who doesn't like a lily pad eh what did I draw before simple
period when our senses and our minds will no longer respond to moderate stimulation. We seem to be approaching an age of the gross. Persuasion through speeches and books is too often discarded for disruptive demonstrations aimed at bludgeoning the unconvinced into action. The young overwhelm themselves with drugs and artificial stimulants. Subtlety is lost, and fine distinctions based on acute reasoning are carelessly ignored in a headlong jump to a predetermined conclusion. The very top cores in the core trim's prices are obscure. What are they obscure by, by mate? What, what's obscure in them? Oh, you're having a lot of problems with your Wi-Fi recently, yeah? That's never good. I'll be terrified. Even when I'm not using the internet, if I know I'm not near it, I worry about it. When I walk to the shops, I check my phone, make sure there's a hotspot nearby just in case of an emergency. Top of the screen, alright, I'll have a look into that. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much for letting me know. Uh, that should be a simple fix. Let me write that down, actually. I've got a bit of paper here with little things that pop up. You're the first person to tell me about that. So thank you very much. Um, Quartrium. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Cheers, mate. Truth is to them revealed rather than logically proved. And the principal infatuations of today revolve around the social science, those subjects which can accommodate any opinion, and about which the most... Okay, yeah, I, I did think that I wouldn't have missed that. I shouldn't have missed that. So but, but, I'll, I'll increase the size of the top of the screen anyway, because it might be something to do with resolutions. So if I give it a little bit of extra height, it ain't going to really matter. Plus, I intend to update it anyway and add some more stuff to the core trim, so I'm going to increase its size anyway. Alright, let's um, add a bit of colour. No, you haven't overlooked it, mate. You are right. I've had a few people request... Um, let me add that to the list as well. That's that is something I do want to add is um, sound controls in game rather than just um, at the start. All right, that's on the list. They're on the list. Things to do. What's going on here? I'm going to go back into this actually, and um, that was silly of me. I'm 
going to go in and colour a few of these stones slightly different, only a little bit different. Just to um, it might be a little too different actually. Just because why the hell not? Um, not as obvious. What's everyone doing tomorrow, Sunday? Anything interesting going down? That's cool, I like that. Then we also need the blue, don't we? And what else do we need to put on the rocks? A bit of red. Always a bit of red. Always. <laughs> Cheers, man. I don't know if I should thank you or uh, apologise. I'm going to go with thank you. But um, my programming is often like the uh, scribblings of a, of a madman. So, swings and roundabouts. I don't know if I actually did anything then. Alright, there we go. Let's start adding the shade. I think we have everything in here. I really should set up some preset pens, really, shouldn't I? It saved myself a lot of time. Enjoy the ride, people. Uh, 
a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. Um, I do like the look of the new one though. I just um, I don't have the time to give it what it deserves, if you know what I mean. It's a game that commands the respect of the player. Um, and I wouldn't want to disrespect it with 20 minutes once a week. But uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of games like that. Uh, are you playing, is it 5 or 6 now? Is it Civ 6? It looks really good. I've seen it many times. I thought, oh, that would be good. I used to like a game called Settlers, if anyone remembers that. Don't know if they brought back another one. Yeah, I, I hear good things about it as well. I don't, I haven't heard anything bad about it. I think I heard a lot of bad stuff about Five, I believe. And they did that space one as well, didn't they? It wasn't very good, if I remember, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't like to uh, talk about stuff if I'm wrong. Well, not too much. Yeah, Settlers was awesome. Like I played uh, Banished. I know they're different sort of games, but Banished was really good. I really enjoyed that. I like that sort of thing. Building up your, uh, your, your civilization or your town and stuff, I love it. I used to love Sim City. That was my my big one. But I'm talking Sim City um, 2000. Uh, it sort of went downhill after that, I think, didn't it? But when I was at EA, I was the uh, Sim City. That was my thing. That was my jam. I'd love to them to make a decent Sim City again. Skylines was pretty good, but um, it felt a little hollow to me. I don't know if anyone agrees with that. I'll probably get attacked for saying that, but it felt like it was missing something, and I couldn't put my finger on what it was. Yeah, man, that's what's good about those games is you actually feel like you achieve something. You know, I like a game where you have to use your brain a little bit and think, and then at the end of it, you think, oh yeah, that was actually worth all that time I put in. I did achieve something. And that's always cool, man. I, I, I wouldn't say I disliked it. I think it was more a case of it just. I felt like something was missing in it. There was some magic missing. It felt a little bit sort of lifeless almost. Like your actions really didn't matter, which is. Strange for a game like that. Maybe it was just me, but obviously not. I sort of felt bad when I stopped playing it. I sort of sat back and went, hmm, I'm not so sure. See you in a bit, man. Yeah, oh, SimCity 2000, mate. I, I even got to the point where I was designing my own buildings. That's how much I loved it. I, play, I played that game ridiculous levels. I was obsessed. That was back when I could play games all the time, man. I loved it. Yeah, it was a struggle, man. And, you know, and in, it really mattered your fire stations, your police stations, and laying your water correctly. And you know, zoning was a big deal. You got that wrong, and you started pumping people's houses full of pollution. That was it. Game over. Oh, I loved it. I really did. Such a shame. It got EA'd. Hello man, how you doing? Here's a little treat for you actually, Azar. This um, music that's on tonight, it's a bigger playlist containing a lot of uh, injected, unreleased work. So that's a little treat for you. 
They're talking about Sim City and civilization and things like that. Skylines and jump on in. What's your thoughts? I was just saying I'm a big uh, Sim City fan. Well, I was back when it was like Sim City 2000, but it's sort of shit now, isn't it? Okay, fair dues. Fair enough. They're not for everyone, that's for sure. See the um, geo updates, Taylor. Well. <laughs> Tower blocks. Is that the one where you drop them on top of each other from a crane? I know that one. If that is the one you're talking about. Yeah, big. Well, I wouldn't say it's not a big update, but there's. Um, I put some additions in, some changes, fix some stuff, change some stuff. Um, so I added click and hold to the drilling, so you don't have to keep clicking all the time now. You can hold the button down. Uh, I fixed a load of typos. You can now press escape in the uh, HQ to close the menus. Um, made a few things more visible. Yeah, have a look, man. It's gone quite well. People seem to be enjoying it. Which is always good. Bear with me, just got a check, just got a message I may need to read. Let's have a look. Um No, I think it's all grave here. No, I think we're good. Cool. Oh god, my leg's gone to sleep, I'm sitting on my leg again. Gotta stop doing that. I'm giving myself a problem, aren't I? Yeah, treat myself to a pizza today. 50% off Pizza Hut. When you spend over 15 quid, thank you very much. Cheap as chips. I'd buy that for a dollar. Spicy. Yeah, dev leg. <laughs> I see what you did there. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, I've got a bad case of dev leg. It's like tennis elbow, but for the less athletic. Whittled it down to nothing from clicking. 
Yeah. It's um yeah, it's a good little addition actually. I should have done that earlier from the start probably. It was in the game at one point and I took it out because it didn't work properly, but I went back and made it work for all my awesome Geo players. There's more to come as well, man. I've got some cool ideas. And if it carries on doing as it's doing, I might do a proper update um, with some actual, like, more content in it rather than um, sort of quality of life stuff, you know. I think people are like that. Yeah, man. So this is um, some of injected stuff. This is actually um, a uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Potentially, it was going to be a Sweezy Gunner sequel theme tune. This track, and still maybe at some point. So soak it up. It always goes down smooth. Yeah, that's it, man. Got to fill that thing up. There's also a row on each of the crew types as well that's uh, that's empty. So I could potentially add, I think it's 24 more crew members. Um, potentially. See how it goes. Chat has indeed shifted. We move fast in this room. The chat is big, the room is small. What was I doing here? How's that looking? Oh, it's looking good, looking good. Happy with that. Let's um, colour those lines because it's looking a little bit offensive if you ask me. Yeah, you like that. Yeah, so this is potentially a Sweezy Gunner 2 sequel track. Cheers, man. Appreciate that. I'm going to call you EJD. Easier to pronounce than uh, EJDA3RD. I'll get that wrong. It ends abruptly, though. But yeah, it's nice of him to uh, sort us out some more music for the stream. So... He's, uh, he's an awesome guy. So I've coloured that now and I need to think, oh no, I need it darker. You could, that's better. That's much better.
Oh, this song is awesome. Oh, you're missing out there, man. Oh. This is a belter. I do often question the uh, mental stability of our good friend injected with a poison. This track is um, its a concerning insight into his psyche, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Where was he going with this one? It's mental. It's quality. That's why I love it, man. It's unique. He has a unique sound. <laughs> fair enough, man, fair enough. We all dance to the beat of a different drum. That's what makes life so interesting. Okay, I think that's the top done. I think it's looking a bit, just a tad darker than normal. I'm not quite sure why. Let's bring that down a notch. There we go. Is it looking too dark, do we think? I just think it's the shade up the very top that's pulling it. That's alright, it'll all be alright in the end. Let's not worry. Don't worry, Bonson, it's going to be fine. There's your top. Jesus, is that the time? Where did that come from? Just evaporates time, doesn't it? It mocks me. With its ever ticking hands. Cast drift on an ocean of time. I think this may we may be coming close to the very last meadow island, which is cool. I am very much looking forward to starting a different world. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to go for for world two. Let me throw it out there. What do you guys think? So world one's going to be your, your meadow, which is all this and grass and all that lark. What are we thinking for world two?
cave. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. That was uh, that was not on my list, but uh, that could be interesting. Sort of like the glow shroom caverns. Bring that back. Who doesn't like a cave full of glowing mushrooms, eh? Not me. I like it. I like it. Every game needs a fire world, that's for sure. I might even give it a unique name, something like Ember's Reach or something like that. You know what I mean, really? But I do, in honesty, I love a fire world, man. That is the plan. But you've got to save a fire world for sort of end game, haven't you? Otherwise, people have become disorientated. There you go. What on earth is this? A fire world in World 2? I beat Terraria to market with Sweezy Gunner. It had glowing mushrooms. How dare you? Oh, nice one, man. How'd you go on with it? Actually, I say that. Perhaps G Sweezy Gunner wasn't released first. I don't know, but... Fireworld, man, yeah. That's the one. We all love a Fireworld. I'll sue them as well. Everyone. <laughs> well... I think Meat Boy and Terraria have a little bit more um a bit more punch than I do, so I'll have to give them their I'll have to tip my hat to them when I I'm sorry, Governor. I didn't mean nothing. I'll say something like that to him. There's plenty of room for more glowing mushrooms in this world. I think Mario's the, the winner there, isn't he, for his bloody shroom addiction. God damn it. That was a mighty fine game, though. I'll give him that. They were in that race though, weren't they? There was loads of people doing it at that time. The first to bring out a um, 2D Minecraft. I remember. It was a ferocious battle. And Terraria won. I remember I was following one on um, on Tick Source called Moon Man or something. That looked awesome, but I don't know what happened to it. I just think I think it's still in development after like bloody eight years. I think um, there's a lesson to be learnt in how long to develop a game for, I think. Uh, darkness Hazard. That's an interesting concept. That did cross my mind, but um, I don't know how irritating that would be in a game like uh, an Arkanoid game. It might be a little bit infuriating rather than uh, entertaining. I suppose I could have a semi-darkness. Really? I did not know that. I did not know that. I toyed with the game. I played it for a bit. It, it, it was just, There was a lot to it. Um, a lot of it I didn't really care to see, to be honest. But I, know, I had good fun with it. Got a bit mental, didn't it? It was just tons of stuff. Which is quality. Alright. Let's chuck some colour on the mud. We all know I like my mud. No, I haven't. I played literally vanilla when it came out. I've even got it in um, a hard copy of it. Collector's Edition hard copy. That I bought back in when it was launched. 
Um, and that's, that had literally zero on it. Just the standard game. And an eyeball monster, I think. I don't really remember. But yeah, it was cool. It's a cool game. <laughs> they don't stop, do they? I think that's it, though. Once you've got something that's hooked people and they want updates and keep feeding the beast. Do you know what I mean? Keep stoking that fire. I think there is such a thing as too much of a good thing um, in, pers in honesty. It can uh, alienate any newcomer, can't it, if it's had a thousand patches because I think it's easy to forget what newcomers will experience over what the current experience is. If you know what I mean. That's easy to forget. You might load it up and think for the first time and think, Jesus, I don't know what this is, you know. Because obviously with more complexity comes less um, user friendliness, if that's even a word. I look at Minecraft for example. That was one of the easiest, simplest premises going. And I think now you launch it and there's weird options and all these modes and stuff going on. You'd need to read the bloody guide before you can even start playing it. But I suppose most of the world owns it. Yeah, that's it. They'll throw 50 bosses at you and you'll start and in your bag you'll have like a trumpet, an umbrella, like 16 empty glass bottles and um, a blueprint for how to make wooden shoes. And you think, what? what's all this business? You know, but when it first came out you just started with a sword and a spade. That seems to happen a lot in games, doesn't it? I've also forgotten to do some lines here, so we'll go and do that quickly. Give me back my pen. There we go. Yeah, and that sort of thing only gets worse, doesn't it? The more your game gets updated, it expects you to understand. I'm sure, because I, I imagine it's been bought out or whatever by now, that the, the vast team working on it can take all that into consideration, of course. But it's an interesting discussion point, that's for sure. Over-updating. You have to question when the cut-off is between updating and doing a sequel, you know. Not just from a business standpoint, but just from a... A sort of time to move on sort of thing. Oh, I've never played it on a console. Is it that bad? <laughs> yeah, I can imagine it needs a keyboard and a mouse, doesn't it? A lot of games like that. Oh, Jesus, I wouldn't even consider it on mobile. But I suppose that's the sort of game it is, isn't it? Where a lot of its customers would play on mobile. It's very, um, very not casual is not the word, but it's very sort of kid-friendly and young teens, you know. There was also a cool one, wasn't there? What was that space one? There was a space version of it that looked really good. But that just got ditched, didn't it? It was in early access and then just got dropped. After like 100 million people bought it. Which is disgraceful, really, but... Them's the dice we roll. Yeah, I never, that's it, Starbound. I never actually bought it, but it did look cool. I like that concept a lot. Should have been good. That's a shame.
Yeah, I never bought it, but I do remember looking at it thinking, ooh. It's one of those, though, big promise. Little, uh, little delivery. Okay, cool. It's a shame though, because it was a, a big project. I don't know who worked on it, to be honest, I haven't got a clue. Who would you like to know who makes these things? Keep an eye on them. Yeah. I wonder if they're working on anything else. It must be a horrible sort of um, cloud to have over your head as an indie developer having a ditched project. Because it's, um, it's not something that's forgotten easily, is it? Oh, that brings us back to old Sean Murray, doesn't it? He's going to have trouble in future releasing anything else. I wouldn't call him an indie developer though. I'm sure they won't, Lazar, I'm sure they won't.
I started, uh, just out of interest for anyone, is uh, I started looking into the a the Twitch API and the information I can pull out of that. Because I've seen some people knocking around on their channels with some cool games. And I was talking the other day about one I was thinking of doing for Geo, making a sort of Twitch Geo game, which would be quite cool. As a sort of little project for me, and then just something cool uh, for the people who swing by the channel. It will sort of, um, it will be on the left hand side of the screen, of the stream. Um, just sort of constantly drilling down against random tiles uh, and then every now and then it will hit a treasure chest and depending on what in the treasure chest certain prizes could be could be won something I was thinking about doing See you later, mate. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, I could do, yeah, Lazan. So I can get sort of people who are in the room. I can get like follower data and stuff. Um, and then I just have to... And then obviously the, the Geo thing. I've got all the graphics. I could just knock up a quick engine and slap it on and see, and see how it goes. I was going to give it a try. What do you think? See you later, man. Cheers for coming. I'll see you soon. Try and finish this in 15 minutes. It's only planning to go to half midnight. Yeah, I'm going to look into it. It could be a good, good little, um, little palate cleanser for myself as well, just to make something small. You know, I'm always making massive projects, so it'd be nice to knock around, try something new. You know, plus I think people will enjoy it, wouldn't they? People who come by, and I could give out keys or something depending on the prize one and things like that. sort of um, a score system you know so like if you're um, if you're in the room and I hit a chest it could pick someone who's watching uh, and assign them some score some cash and then when they get to a certain cash they win a, a prize something like that who knows I'll have to look into it a bit more first But uh, I aim to please. I love catching people in the act. That's why I always whip open doors. Nearly there, nearly there. Just the last stretch. that done let's um, color those lines in so it doesn't look so severe nice nice
I'm also, um, if anyone's listening, new Steam green light. Yes, I have. Hello, mate. How you doing? You right? Yeah, I've heard about it. I have. I'm, uh, I'm hopeful. It could be really good. What about yourself? What are you thinking? Yeah, the ch chop on green light. I, um, I think it could be a good thing, to be honest. As long as they keep that um, fee. If it's a thousand dollars or under, I'll be happy. Anything over that mm, might be a little excessive, but we'll see. Yeah, he does, yeah, but that's the sort of thing, the reason why they're getting rid of green light is because of people like that, you know. That's not a game that has any place being sold anywhere on Earth, let alone on Steam. That's someone who's throwing that together as a chance of trying to make a few quid. Yeah, 500 will be good. Um, $1,000 or under, I'm happy. Uh, 2000 and under, I'm sort of... Mm, Anything over two grand will just be unnecessary, and I, d I don't think they'll go that high. I really don't. They would um, alienate a lot of uh, indie developers who they make a lot of money off, you know. They're their business at the end of the day. So I think it's not going to be five grand, man. I don't know where that's coming from or why everyone's fixating on it. It's not going to be five thousand. They don't expect indie developers to cough up five grand. There's no way, you know. They they already take thirty percent. You know, they make a lot of money off of games. Um, five grand would be silly. You know, they know what's in most indie games sell. You know, they they're doing it to get rid of these games that sell two copies, don't work. Do you know what I mean? And just give out a thousand achievements per second. That's why they're doing it. It makes sense. But um. But it's not going to be five grand. I'll, I'll be so surprised if it is. They'd, they'd be silly to do that. But five hundred, yeah, five hundred thousand dollars, something like that, be cool. Enough to give the uh, the chances and hobbyists uh, a second thought, and perhaps move into a more suitable storefront. But um, low enough for serious developers to not be put off. That that'll be the uh, that'll be what they're aiming for. And 5,000 is not that number. You know, they know that. If it's $5,000, I will eat my hat. That's what they used to say back in the day, wasn't it? I don't think it's anything worth panicking over. I really don't. I think it's going to be a, a good thing. To be honest, I've, I've been, I was saying earlier, I've been through green light twice, and if anyone could give me an option not to do it again, I'll take it. It's, it's fucking horrible. Especially if you're a serious developer, it's a horrible place to be. Yeah, that's it. That's what it's for. It's a clever system, and I'm surprised I didn't do it sooner, because I will happily pay a fee to be released on Steam, um, no matter what everyone says. A lot of people saying, "Oh, I'll pay money." You think you know they're giving you access to the biggest marketplace for video games on earth? You know, if they're charging you a fee to get in, you pay that fee and you smile, because they can just as quickly take it all away from us, and it will screw a lot of people over, and they don't want to do that. So. Exactly, that's it. That's the that's that's the ticket right there, mate. Uh, let's do a little one bush up here before the lights out.
And plus it's going to add to the visibility of proper indie developers, you know, the ones who actually give a damn. Because, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I'm not moaning, I don't think it did me any damage really, but, you know, I was knocked off the new release front page within four hours by, you know, a couple of visual novels and um, some trash, you know, this. and that wouldn't happen, which is awesome. Yeah, and then if it's absolute shit, I imagine it'll get taken off and they'll be refunded. I do think they're going to try and clean up the storefront because they're probably sitting there going, Oh God, what have we done? <laughs> no, they'll never have to pay, will they? They wouldn't have to pay a bean to release their shit. Okay, I think that's uh, that's enough for this one. I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's do the last little bit. Save that. Right. Um, what's all this jazz? Oh, yeah. Ah, shit. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it'd be glorious, mate. This green light is, is an absolute anus of a thing to do. It's horrible in every way. I'd love to not do it again. Uh, and if it costs me $1,000, then I'll pay it happily. Because it's a joke. You know, it's just, it's mainly full of trolls, you know, and you're putting your career in the hands of trolls. It's mental. There's some good people on there. Of course there is. I'm not saying everyone's bad, but it's, um, it's not great. That's for sure. Exactly. They'll, of course they will. They'll still have to verify that it's all, you know, they'll still use the same back office system. Um... Steamworks, what it, what, what is what they use, and it's, it's it's pretty good, very robust, and I imagine they'll still be using that. They won't be ditching that anytime soon. little bit. Let's uh, shrink that down to size. So it's uh, 480 divided by 3 is That's it, man. Yeah, I sell my game on my website. Sells all right. Uh, DRM free and all that, innit? People love that. But um, still can't beat Steam. Not even close. Okay. There you go, ladies and gents. Finished. Um, and in exactly two minutes, I'll be closing this stream down and getting myself off to sleep. But, um, yeah, thanks a million for coming by, guys. Um, it's been fun, as always. Uh, I will be online tomorrow. I'll be streaming live again. I've got some work to do. I'll be back on Dreamstones. Um, 
yeah, so swing by tomorrow if you're available. It'd be good to see you all. I uh, hope you've enjoyed tonight. I hope you have a good weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>